whoa. Did you guys see that? That guy that was on before me? And I just got to tell you guys, there's more to this story. And I want you to know that sometimes in this life, I lack, I actually struggle a little bit with, uh, well, letting my true self come out. And it's, it's funny and uh, ironic considering that I'm actually one of the guys that it's like talking about. Let's be real. Um, you know, I, I personally am, am struggling with, uh, well, distraction right now. Hey, my wife just walked out. She's looking at me like I'm weird. So there's that too. Um, but yeah, I, uh, on Christmas Eve, you know, it's, it's one of those times of years where I, I really begin to see that there's a lot of people who don't have a lot of things. I, I recognize the gifts that I have. I, I recognize my inadequacies, my, it's things like my neighbors coming next door and bringing us gifts and, um, we don't have any gifts to give back and we didn't, and we forgot about that piece. And, or uh, I drive down the street and I see people who are on the street corners and they're um, they're wanting just to have something to eat tonight and and then I you know and there's there's disasters that occur in our world and and we have opportunities in those moments to actually be the hands and feet of the collective whole of humanity and and to 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 tro- show ourselves what we would want if we were ever to put in a position that that was just like that where we didn't have something. You know, I, I find myself as one who tends to stumble over his own words sometimes when he gets passionate about these kinds of things, wanting to myself to be deeper and, and more intentional about my own humanity, to be to be more purposeful in how I love others. And and honestly, I come at I come at this from this collective mind of people who are telling me to be my best and truest self along with this other side of me that's always also full of fear and and scared to be my truest and best self because hey you guys may not like me and and I hope that you can relate to that actually I hope you can't I hope you're completely in line with your truest and best self but more than likely you're with me and what I want to tell you today is that when we are truly in line with our best selves that we don't have to worry about what other people think because what, what drives us is this deep inner thing, this thing that is so much more meaningful and so much more important to us as humans. And that is this collective spirit that we have about us. It's the reason why holidays are so special to us. And I know this is right now, particularly the Christmas holiday, but what I but I, I recognize that this this just represents a whole of many holidays that we celebrate around our the world. It's our way of connecting with one another. It's our way of taking a break from all the extremes of our life. It's the way that we strive to actually live into our truest and best selves by somehow relating and community to one another. And I want you to know that I'm relating to you guys today because I recognize that some of you, you that are listening are sitting there in the same position that I am. In some way, you are poor in spirit as I tend to be when it feels like I just am never enough. And in other ways, I live in the wealth of a great home and a great life with a great wife and kids. And some of you have that. And others of us are just trying to find somewhere in the in that whole hodgepodge of things to fit. And what I want to tell you today is that you do fit. You fit right where you're at in this community, watching this, being a part of our world and knowing that deep down, there's a deeper connection. And And I want you to know that I love you and I care about you and I know that there's many of other people, many other people in this world that want to do the same. But what you first got to re- recognize in order to embrace and receive that love is that you've got to be willing to open yourselves up to loving yourself. And unless you can do that, you'll never be able to be enough. Unless you can recognize your own value, the goodness within you, the power that's within you to create the world that you desire with the help of the resources that you have both in this community and so many other communities that are around. I want you guys to just always know that there is a great deal of hope in this world. And if this season you're down and you're struggling, just know that there are people who are with you. You're not alone. And you should find other people in this world that are are seeking to find that community and be a part of that community. And I'm hoping that maybe this community could be something that launches into that because my big dream, and, and it's a crazy one, but it is that we develop communities around the world that are supportive and big time encouragers to one another, building one another up in their dreams and their hopes 
and living into this really powerful place of humanity. That is called compassion and love. May you be blessed and may you forever find ways in this world to, to participate in a productive manner, to give value, and then may you find value in things like this and in communities that are looking to empower you towards greater things. May you experience the peace and joy of the holidays. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.